Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Nerd News. I am your host, I'm from Pi Media TV, and today we're looking at some, at some tweets from uh, Treyarch Studios talking about Call of Duty Black Ops 6 zombies. Now, Evan, you must be wondering, Evan, you know, you are not a part of the people that like games like Call of Duty, and you would be correct, but I am a gigantic simp for the arcade mode zombies, and 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 am in love with the game modes of zombies of, of World of War, uh, Black Ops, Black Ops Two. To a degree, I never played much of it, but I do like it for what it is. Lots of Black Ops Three. Love got into that later in life, and Black Ops Four. I can take or leave. But the changes that they have added here, adding to the level of customizability of the mode, I wanted to highlight and to talk about. This is really really cool. Let's get into it, shall we? So the first thing that they're doing is, is that there's going to be a customizable HUD in, in Zombies for the first time, featuring multiple different presets, including Black Ops 3's preset, where you can choose legacy presets such as the Black Ops 3 style layout, toggle enemy health bars, damage numbers, or hide most of the HUD entirely to make it feel like a truly, you know, more horrific type of game. Gobblegums make a return for the first time since Black Ops 3. You can now store three unique Gobblegums at a time, which is awesome. And they only are consumed when activated, which is great. Which, honestly, like, that makes it so being able to, like, get try and get the Gobblegum you need is really, really useful. Uh, the prestige and weapon level progression systems of Black Ops 6 are now global. So this means that whether you are doing... Uh, uh, PvP in, in playing multiplayer, or you're doing zombies, you will be getting earning progress towards your next shared level. This, this is a, like, hold on, we're not done, we're not done. Next up, uh, the main quests of each map are more challenging for hardcore zombie fans, while also delivering a new way to grow the community. Once each map's main quest has been out in the world for a certain amount of time, they will add an optional playlist later in season that guides new players through the quest with round progression capped to certain steps. Side quests and other Easter eggs will be disabled, uh, so focus is entirely on experience in the story. I love this. I think this is great. It might actually allow me to like do a main quest by myself, which is, I think, awesome. Uh, completing a main quest will unlock unique rewards and you'll earn special rewards for doing it the old-fashioned way. You'll even earn a limited-time calling card if you do so before the launch of the guided mode for that map. So get in to join the launch. Uh, you can also... They also have a third-person perspective uh, as well as they're adding. And also, they uh, are allowing you to split door costs with teammates. Holy shit, that's a giant benefit. Uh... You, they have this thing called a mutant injection, which allows you to uh, turn to mutant to deal with like force monsters. Uh, on, a, on a new map called Terminus Island, they have evolving zombies, where a zombie's head uh, might might erupt into wall crawling vermin, which can sprout wings and evolve into a parasite if left alone for too long. Uh, they also have a new, uh, I think, a new wonder weapon called uh, called the Dark Flare, which is a field upgrade to generate a High damage beam that mows through multiple targets when your back's against the wall. Upgrade your... They also have a dedic the dedicated melee slot. Um, so your fists and dedicated melee weapon with the new melee macchiato perk. That's day one, which is pretty cool. I don't know how useful that's going to be. Melee is, is, is uh, rarely useful for uh, too many rounds of zombies, but I think it's interesting. Uh, augments to risks versus reward upgrade systems for perks, ammo mods, field upgrades, and with over 100 augments, lock and launch. Choose one major and minor upgrade item per match to the role you want to play. No more permanent skill tiers to rely on. So you have to so choose it or you do like that's all you have. So, uh, first of all, uh, the BO3 HUD being considered legacy makes me feel old. Second, um, <laughs> uh, I think this is great. Um, I'm by no means the biggest. Call of Duty simp, I also, but I do love zombies, and, you know, I think that there are a lot of quality of life things done here, and, you know, God forbid me and my friends, a couple of my friends are able to scrounge up the money to get it, I think would love to play this, especially on stream. Um, I am, I'm glad that there is, you know, 
reasonable changes, especially being able to change how you want the game to look, feel, and play. Um, I think, you know, a lot of the issues, what I, I didn't even play Vanguard, but I saw a lot, saw the reception. Not, 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 no point. So I am tentatively excited to see how this turns out. Um, but yeah, this is a uh, good Call of Duty news for once. That makes me feel good about myself. Let's fucking go, I guess. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to, you want to talk to me outside of this video, outside of live streams, or just be a join the community and be a part of it, you can do so at hivmedia.gg/discord. Discord links there. We'd love to have you. And given the financial situation of the economy right now, I know this is a tall ask, but if you have the scratch to, to spare, please consider donating and becoming a supporter at hivmedia.gg/10. All of our perks are serviced through our Discord channel, including early access videos, exclusive videos, and more. Your generosity is a blessing, and a dollar a month is a boot to my bank account. Thank you so very much for watching. I appreciate you, and have a great day.